everyone. So last night when I was looking up at the stars and the moon, I had thought about how amazing it would be to be able to go up to the stars and see the earth from the view of a rocket ship. So I thought, why don't we draw a rocket ship today? So today what we're going to need is our pencil. You're also going to need some pencil crayons. I've decided I'm going to colour my rocket ship um, light blue, dark blue, uh, orange and red. But you can colour in your rocket ship whatever colours you like and maybe choose your favourite colours. Right, so whoop, turn that around. Now when I'm drawing my rocket ship, I'm going to have my paper so it's vertical the long way up. And I'm going to start at the top of my page over here to draw my rocket ship. So I'm going to draw um, the top of the rocket ship, which is a bit like a triangle shape. So I'm going to draw it up here. So I'm going to go down and then like that. And then I'm going to come across the bottom to close it off. So that's going to be the top of my rocket ship. Now I'm going to draw the shape of the bar of the rocket ship. So I'm going to come down like this and get a bit closer at the bottom like that. So watch again. So I'm going to come down. It's going to come down and then I'm going to come down and get closer at the bottom. I'm going to do it again up here. I'm going to come down. There we go. So that's where I'm going to be making the flame come out the engine. It's going to be down here. Now what I'm going to draw next is um, the part where the engine's going to be. So I'm going to come and draw it like that. And I'm going to draw the fire coming out of it now. So um, I'm going to make kind of like a teardrop shape almost. So I'm going to come out and then back in and then I'm going to come Again, out and then back, making that teardrop shape there. And then I'm going to just make a bit of a, like a almost a diamond shape inside, just to show that that's the different colors of the fire. Now, for my rest of my rocket ship, I'm going to draw the window, which is going to be a circle. So I'm going to draw up near the top here. Oop. So I'm going to draw a circle. Like that, and then I'm going to draw another circle around that circle. So just around it, so I have two circles together, like that. So that's going to be the window. And I'm going to draw some bolts on, because that's what keeps our rocket ship together, the bolts. And now I'm going to draw some bolts coming down the rocket ship as well, just like that all the way down, just some little circles, little spots, all the way down. There we go. Beautiful. Now, what I'm going to need are the wings to our rocket ship. So I'm going to draw the wings. So I'm going to draw it on this side first. So I'm going to come about halfway through. I'm going to come out like that, like an arc. And then I'm going to come back like that to make my rocket ship wing. And I'm going to do the same on this side. I don't quite have as much space, so I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Did not space my paper out very well that time. There, so I've just got a small wing there. Um, and then, if you'd like, you can always draw yourself inside the rocket ship. Like that, you can draw yourself looking out in your astronaut suit. There we go. Riding on the rocket ship. Now I'm going to start coloring in my rocket ship. Um, and I'm going to come back to you once I've finished coloring it in that way. Uh, you can see what my rocket ship looks like and you can decide if you want to do the same. See you soon. Well, there you go. So that's my rocket. While I was coloring 
coloring in, I thought, oh, why don't I add a moon to my picture? So I drew a moon with a circle and then drew in some of the craters that are on the moon. And then I've drawn some stars as well. So I thought I'd show you how I did the stars. So what I did was I did a line across like that and like that, just like an X, like when we're making our treasure maps, that X marks the spot. And then I went down the middle and then I went across like that to make my star. So you can make as many stars as you want, big or small, however many you'd want. If you want to add in some stars to your picture to give it some extra detail. There. Now, if you would like me to help you draw something at home, please do write in the comments what you would like me to draw next. And then I can always make sure that I show you how you can do the drawing that you would like. Now that's everything for me today and I hope that you have a lovely rest of your day and thank you for drawing with me. Uh, please do send your pictures in via email or on Tapestry. Uh, hope to see you soon and take care.